Hello, hello, my name is Julie and today I'm going to turn this thrifted jacket into a thrifted jacket with a warm inside. The fabric that I'm using is a $9 blanket that is really soft. So I took my jean jacket and I tucked the sleeves and the collar inside. Then I laid it out neatly and I started tracing. So I had the shape on my fabric. I only traced one side of the jacket. Then I folded this double and used the first side to make the second side. And I always measure before I cut just to be sure that this will fit me and in this case fit inside the jacket. It fits. So basically what I'm doing is creating a second jacket from this blanket. I'm going to use the back piece to cut the two front pieces. Always leave a little extra because it's easier to cut off than to add on. So once I had my back piece and my two front pieces, I zigzag stitched around the edges to prevent them from unraveling in the washing machine. This takes some time, but it's worth doing. Then I pinned and sewn these pieces together and then I realized that my armholes were way too big for the sleeves so I adjusted this a little bit before setting this together. This really starts to look like a lining, all I need are sleeves. So I copied the shape of the armhole from the lining and then I copied the length and the shape of the sleeve from the jacket. I added 10 centimeter or something around 4-5 inches extra to this because I want the lining showing outside. If you don't want that, just make it shorter or cut it later. In order to set the lining to the jacket, the collar needs to be removed. So it's time to get out everybody's favorite sewing tool, the seam ripper, and rip the collar right off. Now it's time to add the lining to the jacket. So I pinned the lining without the sleeves to the jacket. Both of them are pinned right sides together and try to avoid wrinkles when you pin it. Then I sewn this. Um, I broke two needles on this because I didn't use the right kind of needle. This is a lot of fabric so you really need to use a jean needle but it was a Sunday and I didn't have any. Uh, and the shops are closed where I live on Sunday, so I just decided to sacrifice the needles. I'm so sorry, needles. After I had a funeral for all of those broken needles, I cut off the overhead fabric. This was a lot in my case. Then I wanted to protect the edges, but I had already broken two needles, so I decided to protect the edges by burning instead of zigzagging. So I burned around all of the edges. And then I turned this puppy around. So I turned this around and now I have the lining inside, but I also want sleeves because you know, who doesn't want soft sleeves in their jacket. So I took the sleeves, I turned the lining inside out from the top and then I pinned the sleeves to the armhole and I'm going to sew this with a simple straight stitch. And now it's time to turn them in the sleeves. Then I pulled the two lining sleeves inside the actual denim sleeves and I'm going to finish up the edges of the sleeves. I made them 10 centimeter to 5 inches too long and I will just simply pull them over the edge. You do have a lot of stuff that you will ignore at the edge of the sleeve. I had one button and a way, and a way to open the sleeves but I decided to just sew this close by adding the lining because I never use that anyway. So I just folded the lining over over this at both sides I pinned them inside and then I took it to my best friend the sewing machine to get them in place I had a little bit of difficulty at first sewing this but then I ended up turning this inside out and then it went a lot better so I sewn around the edges and now the sleeves are finished 
Remember that collar that you ripped off? Yeah, now it's time to add some soft lining to this too. So I took a piece of the leftover lining and I pinned it to the collar. Then I sewn all around the edges, except the bottom edge. Uh, you're sewing to a lot of layers here too, so if you have a jean needle, use it and go very, very slowly. I speeded this up like 10 to 20 times. Once you have this sewn, you can easily turn this around. And then I just finished up the edges as this makes it easier to add it to the jacket. So I fold the edges inside half a centimeter, that's something like a quarter inch, and I sewn this too. And I'm going to add this to the jacket. Then I pinned the collar to the jacket. I'm going to sew this in two times. So I first pinned the jean part or the back part of the collar to the jacket. And I sewn this with a simple straight stitch in this kind of brownish color that is also used on the rest of the jean jacket. Then I sewn this soft white blanket lining together. I first pinned it and then I closed it in a combination with machine show sewing and hand sewing. I always try to avoid hand sewing because I don't like it, but in this case, it was the easiest way. I was really happy that I was able to keep the hanger in the middle and this is where the hand sewing was mostly needed. So once this was closed, the jacket is almost finished. Then I opened up the button holes. If you're a person who doesn't close your jacket, you don't necessarily have to do this, but I like to have the option. So I did this in a combination by cutting it open, burning and sometimes some sewing, but it was mostly burning. If you want to finish this super neat and super professional, you will have to sew it, but I was too lazy to do this. So now I can close my jacket and there are just a few final details that I would like to fix. I would like the white lining to come out of the jacket when I wear it around like one centimeter or half an inch. So I sewn around the edges of the white lining and then I also sewn on the edge of the denim. In other words, I top stitched around the edges of my denim jacket. Uh, because the lining is another color than the jacket, I need to do this in two colors. I want this brownish that's often used to sew denim on top and I want a white for the lining on the bottom. So I did this by adding in a bobbin with white threads and using the brownish thread on top. This way you can sew with two different colors. So I sewn all around the edges to give this jacket a neater finish and this finishes the jacket. And here it is, my jean jacket aligned with a super soft blanket. Also, by the way, excuse the state of this house, you're doing some remodeling. So here you have the side of the blanket. I really wanted the white to show out out of everything. So it shows out of the side, out of the sleeves, and then also at, you know, the neckline. And I'm super happy that I was able to keep the hanger because it's so handy to have this hanger thingy. Okay, now let's put it on. It's so soft. Yeah, this jacket is definitely going to be my new favorite item. It's super soft. Okay, that was it. Thank you for watching. Bye!